takes place over a couple of years from about 1958 to 1960 inside Mark Rothko, the artist uh, Mark Rothko's studio in uh, New York City. He has just received uh, this huge commission and it's the relationship between Rothko and a young assistant who's there to help him with all the, the nuts and bolts of, of getting the work done. It's a really, really interesting relationship and it's a um, great exploration of where art can take us and uh, like as a community and where art can take you as an individual. Perfect casting for the role for Nate and myself John. I mean that because it's just our ages and our temperaments and where we are in our lives and our careers. I'm always intrigued when I read a play where I'm reading one character's point of view and I think yes that is I, I totally agree. And then the other character throws their opinion in, which could be the complete opposite of that, and I say, oh my gosh, no, they're right. It's fun to see these guys really investing in the excitement of creating something new, and in the struggle of that, and that it's, it's a puzzle, and it's engaging, and it's what keeps us alive. The playwright mentions that Rocco loved to listen to classical music and he was particularly fond of Mozart and Schubert, so that's sort of where you start. We've had two trips to the actual painting studio here, mm -hmm. which is... Great. I think we've painted four or five canvases. These are big, they're a good six by six canvases. Mm -hmm. um, so it's quite a bit of surface area to cover in about two minutes in rhythm to classical music and dancing with another actor. We both, the two of us, do it at the same time. The way that Rothko painted with so many layers and that in a play like this you get to kind of meet the guy and see how those layers come come to be applied onto a canvas in a way over mm -hmm. a long period of time. You know, but to something that you believe in all your life, whatever you and then to wonder, was it worth it? Did anybody care? Does anybody care that I'm doing this? It's a dilemma, any any kind of performing artist, and that's 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 music, that's painting, that's dance, anything, because it's subjective. Um, so is it important because I believe it's important, or is it truly important? Maybe it's not. It's not really important when you think of the big things in the world. But then it is. I'm just finding that this play is, is hitting me in these emotional places that I'm getting walloped in a way like if you listen to a really beautiful piece of music and it makes you cry and you don't know why. I think it's one of these little plays that just has it all. It's also very funny. <laughs> so I mean I think that it exists in that way as well. I think that people will have a whole experience in the evening of what the music can do to you, of what actually watching paint flying around <laughs> and what that might hopefully smell like, uh, and the emotional journey and the intellectual uh, stimulation of the piece, uh, and a chance to see these, these two actors who are awfully, awfully good going at it. I, I, I have had the best time working on it.